Big Mad Mullet Sports is asking about um, Eric Majors and in our Marcus Majors and whether he will uh, step up and uh, prove himself this year. You know, I, this is this is a guy that I think um, has the opportunity to take that number one a running back job. I, I like, um, I, I love the way he he ran in the bowl game. He didn't get a whole lot of opportunities, so I think part of it's up to him. How much does how much is he willing to uh, to go all in and in everything that he has to do? And meaning how you know how committed is he going to be in the classroom um, to be to put himself in a pers- in, in a position to um, to be that starter and to be you know, one of those guys, um, uh, one of those guys that that is the guy for Oklahoma um, this next year. Runs hard, very very powerful runner, um, and I think you, you know the things that Oklahoma is going to be missing. Um, you know, when you look at Kennedy Brooks, is you know the vision, the cutback, and, and and cutback ability, everything that he had. Um, he Kenny Brooks was never the smallest, or never the strongest guy. Never the never the fastest, never the most elusive, but he was really really good at reading his blocks, really patient, and really understanding where the hole was supposed to be. And so um, that's going to be something that will be um, interesting to see to see play out how Oklahoma is able to to run the ball. But yeah, I think right now I would I would probably see, and I say right now we're seven months away here, but you know I, I would think Major does have Marcus Major does have. Um, an opportunity to put himself um, in that position to be the, be the number one guy come, come September next year. 179 folks online. We appreciate you being here for OU Sooners live. And we appreciate all of your uh, contributions in helping us grow this particular show and the channel as a whole, but this particular show, we had over 5,000 views for last week's uh, show. So we appreciate it, but please hit the like button. We've only got like, 28 likes out of 179 online. And we keep in mind that with 179 online, we probably had like 500 people come through already. So please hit the like button helps us. Um, th- this is not something that massages Jason or my ego <laughs> hitting the like button. We don't care how many likes there are to be uh, totally honest. This has everything to do with YouTube. They like the feedback of the likes and then they uh, use their algorithms to push the video into traffic. So if you got a video with 10,000 views, that has got a thousand likes, it's going to get pushed harder than a 10,000 view video. That's got 10 likes. Uh, so there you go. So please help us in that way. Jason Harold Perkins is a five-star linebacker, the number one rated linebacker in the country, according to 247 sports. And he is just one of the waves of ridiculous talent that was initially coming to Texas A&M, but just a few weeks after he committed, he is decommitted from Texas A&M. So folks in the chat are asking and wondering whether Harold Perkins is anyone who could possibly make his way to Norman. I've not heard um, a lot, Mark, in terms of Oklahoma's involvement with Harold Perkins. I, I've heard a lot of um, I've heard a lot of noise that uh, Texas is probably the Longhorn. Texas Longhorns are the team to beat. Um, uh, for uh, for Perkins and uh, and and I think a lot of it base, is based on Oklahoma has three really solid <clears throat> uh, linebackers coming in um, coming into this cycle. When you talk about Jaron Kanick, um, Kip Lewis, and uh, Kobe McKenzie are are three really solid guys for Oklahoma. So um, I, I would I would probably I would venture to guess that he's probably Texas bound if. If if not anywhere else, but I've I've not at this point heard any 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 noise about Oklahoma kind of getting into that into that mix. But yeah, one of the best um, one of the best play, players in the country from from a twenty twenty two cycle, I think top ten fifteen somewhere around there um, overall. And as you mentioned, number one linebacker in the country. Two four seven sports has him number four four yeah. 